Live gamers, in today's video, we're going to take a look at our base zone coverage. This play is going to come to you from the Carolina Playbook and the 416 sub package. And the play we're going to be looking at is cover two. I really like this as my base zone coverage this year. And um, what we're going to do with this is we're going to base the line and press, of course. We're then going to put, uh, depending on what side the halfback is on, that defensive end in a contain. So in this example, we're going to put our right of screen defensive end on a contain. Then we're going to put our right of screen defensive tackle on a hook zone. And then we're going to put our left of screen defensive tackle on a quarterback spy. And then what I like to do is I like to shift my linebackers to the right or just manually move him over there. Putting him in a deep blue zone, shade my coverage out, and call the disguise cushion coverage. Now the snap of the ball, this is just, I mean, this is just a phenomenal coverage. The flat zones get deep, and nothing, I mean, you got three deep with flow coverage all over the field. This is just a phenomenal coverage defense to run. Um, real quick, we'll look at this again. So, for example, if I flip the play and I have Murray on this side, now I'm going to say, okay, I need to contain this guy because that's going to watch out for the screen. Drop him in a hook. Quarterback spy uh, Knightenen. Uh, spread uh, shade your coverage out. You do that by triangle, flicking the right analog stick up, calling zones the sidelines. Uh, it was also called the shade coverage out a couple years ago. And then I like to use the disguise cushion technique to stop those slot streaks that a lot of people like to do. And it's just going to force them to take an underneath read. And if they don't, if they're not patient, they're going to throw into traffic and you're going to get hands on the ball. So guys, this is the basic zone coverage uh, in combination with the cover three from the base play. It all works really well to establish a basic idea. We call the base zone on sh um, short yard second down situations, second and two, second and three. Uh, we typically will call the base play on second and long. And then we really like to call our pressures on first down based off the hashes. So thank you guys so much for giving me an opportunity to share with you today. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to share this on Twitter so somebody else can use it. And also, guys, thanks for watching. And feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. There's a lot of content. I try to make four videos a day. And uh, I'm just having a great time doing it. So be sure to let me know any suggestions you may have or questions or if you need further explanation. You can do all of that in the comments below. Or if you don't want to post in the comments or you don't have a YouTube account, feel free to email me. My email will be in the description. Thank you for watching today's video, Madden 25 Scheme of the Week Base Zone Coverage. And tomorrow we're going to be taking a look at our base man coverage as well as our base man beater in the offensive section. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you tonight with the top five defensive tips to improve in Madden 25.